Good afternoon, everybody. It's really great to be back here meeting you all in person. I'm going to make a bold statement today, if I can see the slides. <laughs> the future of RISC-V has no limits. So what do I mean by this? Personally, I think RISC-V has made a huge dent in the embedded world, and I believe it will continue to do so. But just think about all the hard work we're going to do today and for the next couple of years, and all the next generation RISC-V platforms we're going to build. I believe RISC-V will go mainstream. So what do I mean by that? RISC-V will be powering our phones, our laptops, our desktops, our cars, our data center infrastructure. I think I got your attention, but I still see some skeptical faces here. So let me try to make the case here. I have to bring you back all the way to where it started. So this is 2015, about five years into the RISC-V project. We just got started at the RISC-V Foundation, and I was on the road raising money for Sci-5, and basically the pitch is this. Hey, I'm Yun Sup Lee. I just graduated from UC Berkeley. I am really interested in building compute platforms based on an open ISA standard called RISC-V, and believe me, it's going to transform the industry. How does that sound? Would you have put your money in? Yes, wasn't the popular opinion at the time. So I feel extremely lucky to have met Stefan Dykeroff from Cerebral Ventures, who said, great idea. Sounds awesome, let's get started. So, and, and Sci Five started, and this is a picture of our early offices. As a matter of fact, our first office in San Francisco is just a couple of blocks away. So, as I was commuting today, I could kind of you know, feel it all again. So, exaggerating a little bit, every, so the office fit about 18 people, so exaggerating a little bit. But if we had the RISC V Developer Summit in 2015, you're probably seeing everybody who would have attended the conference in the photo. So yes, RISC-V was not, you know, not really popular at the time. Fast forward in 2021, six years later, today at the RISC-V International Association, we have over 2,300 members, actually I saw an update, 2,400 members across 70 countries. 104 chip companies, 46 software companies, 103 research institutes rely on RISC-V technology. They use it every day, they develop it, they care about RISC-V. RISC-V matters. I can be a bit more specific about Sci-5 numbers because these are near and dear to my heart and I can talk about them. So to meet all the demand and interest in the industry, we have also grown quite a bit with the momentum. We today are 650 plus employees in 10 offices worldwide, and we are committed to double the workforce next year. So obviously we're hiring, so if you're interested in joining the journey, let's have a conversation. Please visit our website, sci5.com. We have about 300 plus design wins with 100 plus companies including eight out of the top 10 semiconductor companies. So if you're in the audi audience trusting us to put our RISC-V technology into your products, thank you very much. But my point being is, starting from nobody knows about what RISC-V is, and going to the point where you are not fired, putting RISC-V into your next SOC project. In six years, that's a very short amount of time. So just use that to extrapolate where RISC-V will be in the next two, three years. So as I was writing the talk, I was reflecting back on 2021. And I think the best way to summarize 2021 is that it was an inflection point for RISC-V. Traditionally or historically, people have thought RISC-V was a low-cost alternative for embedded solutions, for your bookkeeping tasks, your, your, your little things. But in 2021, I think we turned a corner where we've been seeing high-performance out-of-order RISC-V products coming out, 
high performance vector products coming out, high crow count products coming out. It, it, it's, it's being used in bigger markets. And as a matter of fact, some of the startups have been very well funded based on the promise that they will bring big risk five products to market. And I can definitely attest at Sci-5 that 2021 was indeed an inflection point. We added two processor families to our product portfolio. First one being the Sci-5 performance family, second one being the Sci-5 intelligence family to our product portfolios. We have launched and delivered one of the world's fastest RISC-V CPUs to market. We have also built and delivered the first RISC-V Vector 1.0 product to market. Thanks, Jim, for telling this story. So talking about the Sci-Fi performance processor line, we've launched two products. The first one being P270, which is our high-performance in-order application processor and P550, our high-performance out-of-order processor product. Thank you, Dean, for telling the story. If you want to learn more about our performance P550 product, please come attend the demo session this afternoon by Josh and John. Intel also said they licensed the Sci-Fi P550 core and is creating a RISC-V development platform on Intel 4. Back then, it was Intel 7. Thank you, Ian, for reporting the story. Sci-5 and Renesas also announced that we're working together to build RISC-V automotive solutions and bringing them to market. Thanks, Christoph, for reporting this. Hopefully, you had a chance to attend Shubu's talk early this morning on implementing functional safe RISC-V IP for automotive and safety critical applications. If you didn't have a chance, please look at the recordings. It's pretty exciting stuff. So moving on to our intelligence line of news, TenseTorrent and Sci-5 are working together to bring RISC-V vector products to the AI ML market. Thanks, Anton, for reporting on this. Samsung Foundries and Sci-5 have been working together building a custom AI ML SOC design platform. And as a matter of fact, we have already worked with our joint partner to deliver this product to market. The customer has submitted their ML per inference score this year, and the score is looking pretty good, competing with the big giants in their own category. We also care a lot about the ecosystem. So Sci-5 this year, we have built and shipped High 5 Unmatched RISC 5 computers. Thanks, Brad, for reporting on this. We have shipped many thousands of these boards um, currently sold out. I would like to apologize. We also was hit by the supply chain issues, but we're trying to resolve it actively as we're speaking. And, but for those who have gotten the shipment, have been building desktop machines based on our board since it's a mini ITX form factor, and have been posting cool pictures of their desktop, RISC-V desktops on our forum. So I picked a couple of photos here to, to post them. We also built a 2U server mountable, rack mountable build server based on four unmatched boards down here. Canonical also built a Ubuntu server image for our high five risk five boards and made them available. And to me, this is very personal because I started getting into, I got into Linux development based on the Ubuntu CD back in the early 2000s. So I'm, I'm, really, I'm really excited about this. How cool is that? If you want to check out the high five match board, please visit our booth. We actually bought um, these things to the, to the booth. So I have had a lot of discussions with you all um, this year, and this is what I've learned. Market really needs RISC-V. It's for two reasons, I think. One, for business model reasons. Market really needs competition. Second one is for technical reasons. There is really an unmet technical need out there which RISC-V is really solving. Another theme that I've been consistently hearing from our partners is for a broader, meaningful RISC-V adoption, they need higher performance CPUs. 
and also to develop risk five solutions and deliver them fast to market. Thriving ecosystem is a must, as Philip said. So as long as we take these requirements to heart, I believe 2022 will be a transformative year for risk five. At Sci-5, we've been taking those requirements to heart, and we've been building high performance out of water risk five products this year, starting from the performance P500 series, which we made generally available this July. It's 30% higher performance compared to Cortex A75 from ARM. It's half the area compared to Cortex A75. We achieved 2.5 gigahertz or higher on seven nanometer. And if you combine all of these things together, we achieve 3X performance per square millimeter advantage compared to the Cortex A75. So many people stop me here and say, what's going on? Like, like, what, like how does this make sense? So my answer to this is obviously we have a great team that is, that is executing on this. There's obvious microarchitecture and methodology advantages, but I like to emphasize that RISC V as an instruction set is actually a really great one. It's, it's simple yet very powerful, which lets us make a lot of design decisions to achieve this great target. And at Sci-5, we're not stopping here. So you may already have heard this, but Sci-5 has launched the Performance P600 series at the RISC-V Summit. It will be available for architecture preview to our lead partners in a couple of months. We are achieving 50% higher performance compared to P5, P550. We're achieving 2.75 gigahertz or higher in five nanometer. And we're continuing to maintain the significant performance per square millimeter advantage compared to the Cortex A77 while maintaining similar performance levels as the Cortex A77. So I'm really excited about this product. So let's nerd out a little bit on the actual details of the P6550 product. It's hitting 11 plus spec in 2K6 per gigahertz. We are, you, you can go and integrate 16 P650s into a multi-cluster connecting them coherently. And we are also adding AMBA, ACE, and CHI support to our core complex products. So if you want to build a bigger system connecting more cores coherently, you can do that outside our core complex. Jumping into the architectural features a little bit more, it's a four issue out of water pipeline and we improved the inside of the cores to exploit more instruction level parallelism or ILP. We have enhanced the front end and branch predictors and also enhanced the prefetchers for better memory performance. We also support the hypervisor, hypervisor extensions to support core IO and interrupt virtualization. So here's some design notes of the P6550 product compared to the P550 product. P650 product, as I said, it decodes up to four instructions per cycle. We added an additional integer pipe that is also capable of resolving branches concurrently. We made significant improvements to load store unit. The load store unit can now support up to two generic load and store combinations. And to support, to exploit more ILP, we increase the number of integer and floating point physical registers. We're not stopping just at the core. We're building out the complete system solution and we're not, we're continuing to invest in building industry leading high performance certified cores with vector compute and adding enhanced power management capabilities to the cores. We're also continuing to work on the Uncore features, starting from the multi-cluster network on chip, maintaining the AMBA, ACE, and CHI connectivity, adding CXL support to the, to, the, to the system, supporting virtualizations just not only at the core level, but the system level. 
We're also taking functional safety requirements and implementing them into our solution, adding advanced error detection reporting and recovery, as well as advanced performance monitoring, debug, and trace. So we launched our first out-of-order product in 2021, the Performance P550. And we're also launched Performance P650 and making it generally available next year, achieving 50% more performance compared to a previous generation. So just think about what, will be a, what we will be able to do in 2023 for a next generation performance product. As somebody who really deeply cares about Risk V, I like to say thank you for believing in it. We've worked by working together, we made a huge difference and progress in the past six years to the point where Risk V is inevitable. I believe 2021 was an inflection point for Risk V. Now people perceive Risk V is not only good for embedded for you know, other market applications. The partners and ecosystem are asking us to do more. So just think about the next two, three years, what it will be like if we work together, pushing RISC-V harder. I believe RISC-V will be in every market, serving every compute point, basically being everywhere. So hopefully by now, I have convinced you that the future of RISC-V truly has no limits. Thank you very much.